Welcome to another episode. In today's episode, I'm going to be installing the TMI one piece headliner on my 67 Ford Mustang. Stay tuned. Music bed. Okay, so this is the TMI one piece uh, headliner that I purchased from TMI, um, I think over a year ago actually. Um, not this last uh, Black Friday, previous year's Black Friday, they had a sale. And so I purchased it, it did take about, I think three months to come in because I think they make it once you order it. So um, I got a hole here in the box just to well, I need a piece of cardboard, but um, there's some instructions in here. I haven't really pulled it out. I mean, it looks nice. Uh, so we're going to be figuring that out. I was going through my wiring, painless wiring uh, here box to figure some things out. So uh, previous episodes, I worked with the wiring here under the dash. Um, as you can see, if you can see that well in here, but um, I got most of the wiring all done. Um, you know, my MSD box is over there, it's all wired. Um, got my dash in here, it's all set up, um, wired in. It's not all the way bolted down, but it's pretty much done. So I have also worked on the um, engine bay here. So I have the harness. Um, the harness of the uh, EFI here, I mean, I'm going to leave this piece one because it's right off of this. Um, all those fuses, they're right next to the um, FI tech unit here. And so I just kind of put them right behind there. Um, I mean, that's, I guess, kind of the best I was able to do. <laughs> um, I guess if you really want it, you can relocate all those to a different spot, but I'm, I don't want to tear into the harness. So um, I left that there. <clears throat> the rest of the harness is inside the vehicle, connected to power and everything, but um, it's just quite a bit of wires kind of bunched up here. Um, but I, I wrapped them. I'm still going to wrap them a little bit better, but uh, you know, they're just kind of right behind there. Um, that's kind of the worst of the wiring. Um, everything else is, I still have a little bit of loom to do, but um, it's pretty much done. I have the sensors connected in here, so I have my coolant temperature, oil pressure, and then my AC, I actually run the wire all the way. And they're in this harness right in here. Um, I'll probably wrap this one a little bit better from the distributor. <clears throat> and then I still need to do like all the headlight wiring but that'll be later on. Um, I did run the wiring for the headlights inside the fender apron so they're not run right in this front area here so and here for the uh, battery set on this passenger side here I also pretty much finished um, and not finished but I still have to do more work but I have the wiring coming from the FI tech unit um, I have my uh, let's see, heater control valve here. Um, so this wire goes in there. I have my coil wires. Uh, you know, they're ran from the MSC box inside. I just gotta put the connectors here. Um, so everything here is pretty much set. This is for uh, the fan. So I figured I run it here and <clears throat> I'll probably put uh, the fan relay and all that kind of right in this front area here. Um, but that's pretty much good. I still need to change this valve cover gasket, but I'll, I'll get to it probably, uh, here soon. And I don't think that one was leaking anyways, but, um, anyways, to the headliner. Um, this is the headliner that's in it. Uh, I had replaced this when I 
first kind of worked on the car. I don't have any of the uh, window, the pinch lace here, which I know I am going to need for the new headliner. And I think it's somewhere in here in my garage, just like everything else. But um, I got to find that because that's also what's going to hold my new headliner in. Um, but I had done this headliner a long time ago. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, with this headliners, they're not expensive. I mean, I think now they're about $40, $50 to, to get a new one. And they're, they're not too hard to install. So you just put them on the balls that go on here, the metal balls um, that go in this little areas here. You put them in. There's two wires on the back ones that, you know, keep them from kind of all turning. And then the main thing, though, is if you're going to do it this way, um, you probably want your windshield off because you want to pull this headliner, make it tight and wrap it around the edge here where the windshield um, gasket goes and then glue it to this area right here. And that's what's going to make it look nice. Now here on the edge, same thing. Um, you know, you take this window lace off, but you want to pull it, you know, as much as you can and then glue it and hold it with something. So same on the back um you know it just takes time you'll move like i said you would want the windows off if you don't have them off there's no way you're gonna be able to pull it and then let it let the glue dry so it keeps it stretched so um anyways the reason i went with the one piece is one it's suede so it looks really nice two it gives you um they say i don't know if it's true since you get rid of this um both it gives you about an inch or two of headroom um you know this was pretty tight up here so i'm gonna say maybe an inch and three i don't know i just kind of like the way the the one piece was gonna look so um it is quite more expensive i think normally they're about seven hundred dollars or so uh i got it on sale a little bit less but it's still pretty expensive so you know think about that if you want to do that anyways uh what i'm what i was doing with the wiring is finding out where the dumb light uh wire it was so when i was looking online it showed to be on that corner um and i think the one i was looking at was a 68 i'm not sure if that's true mine is a 67 so i found out uh, mine comes out on the back over here on this kind of cell panel towards the trunk that's where the factory wire is right now uh, it goes right in here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right in here. It goes that way. And so the harness does have a pretty long wire. I'm going to bring it up, attach it to that dumb light. But I just wanted to make sure I knew where that was. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just undo this headliner here from the sides. And then um, unhook the uh, these bolts. Um, I am going to save these because these are not sold uh, aftermarket as well last time I checked anyway so you know they're really hard to find if I ever want to go back to that or anything like that so I'm gonna save those just in case but uh, I'm gonna pull that off get that dome light taken off and then we'll see. So um, this has the nice clips. Uh, it looks like they kind of clip in here to hold it in place. So I'll go ahead and pretty stout, pretty thick. Um, I do have to see though if the one on this painless harness is um, long enough to go all the way up there. So. It, it probably is. Yeah, it looks like it is. So, um, I probably will just splice it up there where that factory splice is. So, you know, it goes up and then there's that little splice there. Um, so I'm going to do that. 
I do have a new dome light and I think that just kind of bolts on to out here. Um, you know, it's just like a regular bulb here. I don't think they make like an LED style bulb for that kind of socket, but I'll check. Um, I'll probably, you know, put an LED if I can in there, but um, the other thing is this insulation, you know, it's kind of thrown on there with glue. It was off since I did it the first time, so that's why it kind of just fell off. Um, this one is kind of glued in there, but I did buy some uh, of the kill mat, like the one that's kind of down there. Uh, a little bit thicker stuff to put up there, so I might just go ahead and clean that really well. Um, like the greaser, let it dry, and then start gluing the uh, kill mat on there. Uh, I might still leave that insulation on top of that kill mat, but... I might do both just to, you know, a little bit better insulation, but let me get that, uh, the insulation here off the ceiling, uh, pull off the headliner. And then I went ahead and connected the dome light um, harness or wire here. Uh, what I ended up doing is the wire that comes from the uh, dome light up here. I left it up here just cause it's pretty nice, um, you know, thick wire but it does have another plug right around this area here. And that's where I spliced it. So I kept the factory kind of connector on there, spliced it to my painless wiring harness and plugged it back in. So that's good to go. Um, I cleaned the roof here with the oil eater and uh, also some brake cleaner just to get a good base. So. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I wanted to get that clean. Um, I bought this kill mat and get some insulation here. Um, this is the same stuff that I use like on the saline. Um, I use some of this underneath the dash area here before I put all the air conditioner and stuff on there. And I am gonna put this stuff throughout the floorboard and everything, but um, I ordered this one for the ceiling, so this one is thicker than the stuff I used on the floor. And um, it's about, it's almost double the thickness of the other stuff. So I'm gonna use this up there. Uh, I'm probably gonna start laying it on there, uh, do one layer, and then possibly even do a second layer. I think I have enough to do maybe two layers on there. And then I'm gonna try, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna probably have to buy more, but uh, buy some of this uh, adhesive and spray it on the insulation here and then glue it to the top of, you know, on top of the uh, kill mat. So it's, that's how, you know, factory has that insulation on there. Um, I kind of want to have extra insulation on there. Just, you know, keep the heat from coming through as much as I can. Um, or I guess the cold, but um, according to the instructions I was kind of reading on there, it doesn't say anything about removing your insulation or anything like that. And so I think I'm just gonna try to put both the, uh, the this material on there, which is uh, sound deadening and also insulation, but also that uh, the one that was on there originally on the car. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little bit of time to dry a little bit more. And I mean, I just don't want it to, you know, um, not stick. And then I have my wood stove going so it gets a little bit warmer in here. Um, 
make sure it sticks on there good and I'm gonna start laying that on there and I'm gonna see I have enough in this can to do at least one piece so I'm gonna see if that sticks uh, you know it's it's pretty light but if it doesn't then I'm just gonna leave it off I don't want to be fighting with it but um, we'll see if we can get that going and then that dome light I think I'm just gonna the hole and the headliner over there is pretty small but it's just pretty much for the light it looks like but it does have the two holes to match up to the uh, roof there so um, that's going to be one of the spots that's going to hold it up and then the one up here on the front for the rear view mirror so on the 67 it's uh, there's a rear view mirror bracket that hangs up here and it bolts into those little three spots there so um, probably can't see it but there's the three bolts right there so that's pretty much what's going to hold it in place to get started and then after that it's just going to be the pinch lace here which I have to see where I have it I think it's somewhere up there um, I'll look for it if not I'll just order uh, you know a new roll and just it under there um, I didn't have quite enough to do two layers all the way so I only did two layers on this front side here um, a couple here on the back but that's it uh, just because it was thicker I figured I had more pieces in the box but I didn't so uh, that's good to go uh, heating up the metal really helped with the sticking and everything so um, be careful if you do uh, work with that when you cut it the edges are pretty sharp since it's aluminum so when I was rubbing it it cut my finger so just be careful doing that um, now that I, that is done, I'm going to go ahead and get my headliner and see if I can...
Got the headliner pretty much all in here. So I have my dome light bezel. This is a new one that I had in there from my other uh, parts car that I bought. Um, so you can see it better. I do have to order two new screws um, that are a little bit longer for here because the ones that came with this were a little bit too short. I couldn't get it to catch on the metal underneath. But um, And then I went ahead and put the... I got the back trim so it's all nice in there. Um, I didn't go ahead and I didn't tuck it underneath the the seal. So what you're supposed to do is the fabric kind of tuck it underneath um, the windshield or the rear window seal under there. I just tucked it underneath the actual headliner. So, um, but it's folded. So, you know, if I do need to go back and do it that way where I tuck it underneath there, then I can still do that later on. I just don't want to put extra fabric underneath the seal here to avoid any leaks. So um, that's what I'm going to do for now. If anything changes, then I'll have to change it later on. I'll let you guys know. And then here on the front, same thing. Um, got my rear view mirror bracket under this is the new bracket that i had uh same from that other car that i bought and same with the uh, headliner i mean it's tucked in here so it looks pretty nice uh, nice and clean so pretty much all done um except i do have to put those cell panels here on the back uh, corner there i do have to take them out of the box and then trim the side here i couldn't find my pinch lace that would go right in here so i have to uh I'm probably just going to tuck this in. I'm going to cut it, you know, about an inch and then tuck it around. I think I'm going to have to order some pinch lace. I don't know where my old one is. Maybe I let, I threw it away or I have no idea. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get those cell panels for the back. I have to put those in there first and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll move to those the side pieces there. Okay, so I went ahead and trim the headliner so you can see um, it's all trimmed here at the end and so the pinch um, it's uh, the pinch lace goes right here um, and that's pretty much just gonna cover you know the edge of the metal and go right here where the headliner is so um, as it is I'm gonna leave it there uh, I don't have the uh, pinch lace because I have no idea where I put it <laughs> um, I might have just gotten rid of it I figured I'd put a new one in there so um, I'll probably order a new one here soon uh, this is the other piece the cell panel pieces and pretty much this one's just get um, placed in here like so um, the pinch lace pretty much is going to hold this one in place right here um, and then here on the back, it's the same thing as the uh, front and rear. So this one, you know, you're supposed to tuck it underneath the rear um, gasket for the rear window. And, you know, um, I can do that. I mean, you know, the gasket is right there, but I'm not going to put this on here right now because I don't have the pinch lace. Uh, if I only put it on the back, they're just going to flop over. So I'm going to wait to put these on there till I have the pinch lace. And then at that time, I'll let you guys know if I do tuck it behind or not. Um, I, you know, I might, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Not yet. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. I mean, you know, this just kind of goes on top of here, which is no big deal. Um, that's the only, I guess, only kind of thing that I don't care too much about. It's just the way it kind of just goes on like that. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, for it to have been one piece, shipping and everything, I mean, that, you know, that makes it harder. But um, once everything is kind of tight in there, I mean, that's no big deal with, with that piece being like that. So um, I'm going to put these in the box, make sure they don't get, you know, dirty. And once I get that pinch lace, I'll finish that up. Um, I was kind of surprised. I wasn't aware, I guess that also these pieces come with it. And these are the pieces that go right in here, um, inside of the, you know, the A pillar. Um, let's see, I think this is the other side. So 
I wasn't aware that these were included in the kit, so that's pretty nice here. So um, these are gonna go right in here. I'm not sure, I think. Uh, nope. Maybe this way. Yep, just like that. So uh, you can see there, that's gonna go right in there. Same thing, um, I believe you're supposed to tuck that in underneath that rubber which I can um, the pinch lace is gonna hold it mostly here on top so um, and then right up here I mean I left the uh, the suede a little bit past I did tuck the rest underneath here um, but this will cover all the way there so I mean that that'll look nice um, I was actually thinking of getting the factory ones and wrapping them in suede getting uh, some suede fabric and, and doing that so uh, it's kind of nice that these are included makes a match um, so overall good fit from the you know TMI on this one piece headliner it looks really nice uh, one thing is I am gonna have to I think buy the uh, visors that are suede just that way they match um, but you can buy those separate later on. They are a little expensive. I think they're like $250. So uh, in the meantime, maybe I'll just put the factory ones in there. And then, you know, once I get the other ones, swatch them out. But overall, I do like the way it looks. It looks really nice. Uh, a lot nicer than the, uh, the other type of headliner in there. Um, it does seem like it does give you about an inch of headroom extra. And so I do like it. Um, I think I was looking into maybe wrapping the quarter pieces here on the inside in the same suede material. So uh, we'll see if I decide to do that or, or not. But um, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.